Hey there folks and welcome to the Bubble Round Tree Outdoors channel. I'm your host Wade Rush. Today is going to be a tale of two 1187s. That's right, a tale of two 1187s. Let's get after it. Not too long after hunting season ended in uh, early 2019, actually January 1st, 2019, I talked with the Cam Bites boys, Carl and Phil, uh, known forever. They're they're more like family than uh, than friends. But uh, had a long talk. They wanted me to take a look at their uh, 1187s. Phil had broke the front sight on his. You know, Mr. Run and Gun, Phil Cam Bites and and, uh, and Carl has got a specialized, a special purpose 1187. As a matter of fact, Carl, the black gun, here is Carl's, and she's only got a 21 inch barrel. That's right, it's a little bit lighter, but she's a special purpose 1187 with a 21 inch barrel, and he wanted to, me to take a look at it and see what I could get to pattern well through this shotgun. And uh, Phil's is a more classic style 1187. Looks a little bit more like the old 1100. He also has a two shot extension on his. His has a 26 inch barrel. All right, and so they wanted me to put these things through the ringer, through the testing ringer, and find out what they liked the best and what they would uh, get their best chances with whatever buckshot loads we come up with to work well in these shotguns. So this is what I did. The first thing I did was I ordered some high-vis front sights for these shotguns. Uh, I like the high-vis sights. I like them a lot. That's what I shoot on my Stoger. Uh, my M3000 has the uh, green high-vis spark on, uh, on my shotgun and so the, what I really like about it is compared to most other sites, so some of these other sites are humongous. They're just way too big to where it's so big to the point to where whenever you're trying to acquire a target, that front sight can mostly cover a target. And if you're shooting at a fast moving animal that's out beyond 60 or 70 yards from you, it would just about cover the entire animal. And you need to be able to see a target on both sides of your sight. So I ordered a couple of high vis front sights. And while I was waiting for them to come in, uh, I tried to contact, well, I didn't try, I contacted hi several times and uh, talked to some folks, emailed, uh, tried to get some folks to get back with me because I just wanted to ask them some questions, see what they were all about, uh, learn a little bit more about their company and all that. Well, uh, lots of trying and uh, no contact. They never got back with me. Anyway that push aside I like the sights they make a uh, their their high vis spark is a small profile small diameter front sight and installing the sights is extremely straightforward the uh, the high vis kit comes with all the adapters and all that in it for that fits most all shotguns out there even the Turkish type shotguns and stuff like that so we got that installed and then it was time to take them to the range and see what they liked or what they didn't like. When Carl brought me uh, his shotgun, when he dropped it off, it had an old comping choke. I hope camera can see that. Comping choke does not make these anymore. You can still find them out there, the old chokes. This is an old comping choke, and it mic'd out to 680 whenever I checked it. Uh, when we checked it at the range, it was shooting extremely low, and it scattered the buckshot all over the place. Easy to fix. 
shooting low and scattered the buckshot all over the place. So uh, we immediately I got Kicks to send us two chokes. When I talked to Mr. Chuck Boswell at Kicks, they don't make anything really tighter than a 695. And they're extra full. Their standard full is like a 700. And they didn't make anything tighter than that in the buck kicker. So he wanted me to try a 660 constriction in the Goblin Thunder turkey choke. The Kicks turkey choke. Six, uh, 660 Goblin Thunder. And boy, did, uh, did that 21-inch barrel show off with the number four buck it, uh, at the range. It did well, okay, with the other two, with the bigger pellets. The bigger pellets did way better out of Carl's 21-inch barrel with the standard full buck kicker choke. Okay, folks, uh, we are shooting factory stuff in, the, uh, in these 1187, the, the Cam Bites Boys uh, 1187s. And it's also about what we can find. There's a lot of stuff I'd like to shoot, but we just can't find. The Federal ammunition is still readily available at Walmart. And this is a 3-inch, uh, 15-pellet standard double alt right here. Let me see. I was hoping the camera will focus on that so y'all can see it. But yeah, it's a 15-pellet standard advertised at 1,210 foot per second. We're also going to shoot the Remington Express 3-inch triple alt, 10 pellet, triple alt, and it is advertised at, let me see, usually it's always around 1,200 foot per second, 1,225 foot per second. And I think that Phil also shoots the uh, 41 pellet number four. So we're going to shoot the 41 pellet number four in the Remington Express. And it is advertised at 1225 foot per second. And this is how Carl's 1187 special purpose with a 21 inch barrel did in the preliminaries down at the range with the new sight and with the kicks Goblin Thunder 660 constriction. With all with uh, all of our testing with these two shotguns is at 50 meters or 54 yards. Federal. Oh shoot, look at that water powder. Look at all the pellets right there under the bowl. That's 50 meters too. One right there. Rachel, you zoom up, can you see it pretty good? One, two, three, four. One right here five, too. There's one nick the paper right there. Seven, eight, nine. I don't know if that's a no, I don't think so. I don't think it is either. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. And we got one, two, three right here under the bullet. Not counting these right here. That's just a 21 inch barrel, folks. 21 inch barrel. And uh, that's it. 50 meters, 54 yards. All right. Everybody ready? Yes, yes sir. Okay, let's make. Yeah, because he's, he's left-handed. Got a left-handed safety on it. All right, here we go. Another Right, Josh, that thing, that thing there will put the smack on you, won't it? Mm-hmm. Don't think that was there. No, that's previous. Come on. I want to see some big, big one, holes two, right under the board. Three, four, five, six, seven. Down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Below. Yeah, well, like I said, it's we holding it. My hold is right here, halfway through the bull right there. I say the next time we just we'll completely cover the bull and maybe hold right here and just see. But that's that's still not gonna be bad at all. One, two, five, six. Seven or ten at 50 meters with a 21 inch barrel. Yep, left handed safety off. Ready to go. Like it jumped pretty dang good. Yeah, it did. 
Ooh, he's smoking right there. 1124. Yeah, gas operated. <laughs> got me. Got me more. Yeah, that's how that thing smacked you. I bodied it. Yeah, that's. Whoa! Lord, what a pattern, son. Holy cow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. How many are in that? 41. So over 28 half. or 41 at 50 meters, 54 yards with a 21 inch barrel. That's good. Yeah, he needs to have those in the belt too, no doubt. No doubt number four needs to be in the belt. What a pattern. Did you get those counted that was in the bullseye? Yes, sir. Okay. It's only one, right? Yep. I was looking, I didn't see, you know, number four was a real bad about doing double hits, but I didn't see Three, any. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. You got 28 twice. That's what it is. And look at what a pattern. Holy cow. Holy cow. When I started working on Phil's shotgun, Phil had flush mount modified, a flush mount Remington modified choke in his shotgun is what he was shooting. And the tail with this is whenever I first got the shotgun, I couldn't get this out. I, you could feel down in here, there was a rim that had let it up, you could, where it had gotten sharp. It wasn't fitting well in that cone, and it was shaving the pellets as they were coming by this choke. And after a long time of soaking and penetrating oil, and me worried about if I was ever going to get this thing out of Phil's shotgun, I finally got this choke out. And so when I got the choke out, we put some anti-seize. I always put anti-seize on my threads. We chased it back in with a butt kicker choke, and she went right in like a dream and locked down. I was not going to put this back in there and, and fight with or to even take a chance on having to fight with this thing. Some of the threads look a little boogered up and shaved right down here on the end. See right here? And I did not want to take a chance of putting this back in the shotgun to see what it was doing before we put the uh, the butt kicker in there. His biggest, his front sight was about to fall off the shotgun. So we got the high-vis sight installed on Phil's shotgun, 26-inch barrel on his 1187, installed a standard full butt kicker choke. And this is how she did in the preliminaries down at the range. How about that? It's still adjusted right. Who shot it last, Josh? Okay. Alright. <laughs> 13.18 is what we get out of 26 inch barrel. That was a, that's a pretty neat little look. Uh, it is. I like that. Yeah. Well, I got my rifle. Zeroed. I mean, it was rock stick. We began to rock. Well, I guess it was a good, what, $40? $40. $40. Hook. Another shot of Josh's booty. <laughs> One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve. Well, look at that group over there. Look at the water Look at the group of ten. Twelve. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> he definitely needs to have the federal double alts in the belt, that's for sure. Twenty-two. You didn't miss, did you? I don't think so. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa! Got a blowout. What the heck? Yeah. What is that? We have shrapnel. It hit something back there that uh, that shattered a piece of it. Yeah, no, that right there. That one hit right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that was so probably nine. 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 hit that right there. Great day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great day. What a pattern. And then I'll reach out there too. Here we go.
23. Another fumble. He hit me right on the shoulder. I was like, that's an error. That's an error. One. That one there is actually a pellet. Looks like that. Yeah, that one's going to be. Oh, have mercy. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. That's gonna take up all your little patches. So <laughs> switch targets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tell us that he was not gonna sit there and do it. It's fourteen can. right there. Yeah. So over half of them are right there. I don't know. I just, I just put whatever is in there in there. So, yep, that's 29 and a half a long shot. Fioki, Fioki once fired hole. 29 and a half grains a long shot. Fioki 616 primer. We got MG42 wide in here, 16 pellets of 31 cal, powder coated single alt, covered in ballistic products original buffer. Fat. Well, he don't flinch, he goes into it. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens this time. 1334, you actually catch that one? Yes, sir. He caught one. That one was about as far away from me as it could have been. But them other ones was flying at Mach that, 8. <laughs> yeah, that, that paper flat jumped down there that time. Heck yeah. Oh, and. Lord have mercy, what a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Great day. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13 10, out of 16. 11, 12, 13. Yep, 13 of 16. Now look at that. Right there under the bowl, you can have with my big hand anyway, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there that I can cover with my hand right there's on the ball. Yeah. That's 31 cal. That's, that'll get it done. Yeah. In the final tests with Carl's shotgun 21 inch barrel, we installed a Kix buck kicker in standard full 700 constriction. Okay, folks, we've made some slight adjustments on the sights. Um, Carl's shotgun was shooting a little bit low, uh, not bad, but a little bit low, and Phil's was shooting just a hair left. So we made some minor adjustments on the sights, and uh, going to check and see if we got them back where it's going to be satisfactory. We're still at 50 meters, and uh, since number four buck is flipping impossible to find, we're, uh, we're shooting 15 pellet. Um, the 15 pellet Remington double alt and the 10 pellet Remington triple all. That's what we're going to shoot around each out of the, uh, out of both of these guns, and we're going to make sure we got them dialed in. I put the standard full buck kicker in the short barrel in Carl's 21 inch barrel here to check with the bigger pellets with the 15 pellet double alt and the 10 pellet 360 caliber triple alt here at 50 meters and see how it does with the standard full kicks choke. You ready, Don? Here we go. Uh, He's got that left-handed safety, so I got to remember that. <laughs> Cycle to good. All right. Well. We're definitely not shooting low anymore, folks. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of 15 with the Remington with the standard full butt kicker in a 21 inch barrel. I'm gonna patch that up. Let's see how it does with the triple alt. So I'd already seen earlier how it did with the with the uh, number four buck with the Goblin Thunder 665 constriction. This is a 700 constriction standard butt kicker choke. Let's see how it does with the triple alt. Pretty good. Boy, them things hit like a hammer. Great gosh. A short barrel. 
Wow. That's his best pattern right there. Well, folks, that, that would definitely be my recommendation. That would be my recommendation. That choke and spit, we're shooting these 36 caliber, big old 36 caliber pellets. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all 10, all 10 on, uh, on this 28 inch uh, target right here. One, two, three, four, five to six right here below the bull. I can cover with my hand universal pattern all the way around right here. All 10 pellets and my guess would be 18 inch circle. Pattern looks good, centered. Uh, that would be my recommendation to call right there. That choke and shoot the triple offs. All right, let's see how Phil's does with the uh, 26 inch barrel. It might go bang this time. <laughs> Good. There's ten yep. in that one too. That's, uh, that was the uh, should have been the double off first shot, but look at there the pattern, 18 inch pattern right here, dead center of the paper. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, a fifteen. And right here, dead center of the paper in a 16 inch circle. With the, we already knew it did the federal double alts good. It also does the Remington double alts well. And that's something that's available that you can actually find at the stores. Let's see how it does with the triple alts now. Things buck, don't they? <laughs> That's a good 15, 17 foot. Clo close to 18 foot. Yeah, it is. I don't guess I pulled it. That's a great pattern. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all ten. Here on the right side of the paper. Now, Patch, I'm gonna shoot it one more time and just make sure that wasn't me. I may have pulled it right. I don't think I adjusted it that far. So, but yeah, that's that's 10 right there on the right side of the paper. I'm gonna shoot it one more time with the triple offs. Okay, you ready? Here we go. That looked to be dead center when she went bang. Oh yeah, there we go. Vastly improved and dead center. <laughs> it's a double hit right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of ten, and then a circle right there, Golly dead ball. center. Well, that's a nine right there, dead center of the paper. So it was me that I had pulled it to the right on that last shot. That's why you check it. All right, I think Phil's ready to go. How about that? That's why you shoot your shotguns just as much as you possibly can, folks. And these guys. Carl, I think, basically only shot the 15 pellet double alt loads, and uh, but you can find, you can readily find, especially at um, Academy Sports, usually has plenty of three inch double alt and three inch triple alt Remington Express in stock. Um, or you can sometimes you can find them at Sportsman's Warehouse. But uh, anyway, that it was a long drawn out process. But we got it done and you can see how we settle in on what is going to be the best for these guys shotguns and I'll tell you what 
uh, they can both shoot them with confidence. Now, now I thought this was kind of funny. Now, Carl insisted that I give him in writing that his shotgun would never fail to take a fast mover if he dropped the hammer on it. Well, you guys saw the video. You saw how it patterns now and what it does a pattern. If that is in his belt, and that's what he puts in that special purpose right there, I don't think he has any excuse this year. Now, that other combination he had, it was shooting like crap. Uh, it wasn't working well. Like I said, in the dirt and uh, and, and left. Yeah, I believe it was low and left in the, uh, in the dirt with that old comp and choke uh, and all that in there. Well, you see, she's hitting dead center right now. So, there you go, boys. Um, I know you watched the video. Everybody else in the club's watching the video, too. So, you boys ain't going to have any excuses this year whatsoever. All right. We'll see y'all next time.